Now, I don't think Shannon taking up the ass, but I think he giving I do. I'm going to come out the gate, okay? There's a big conversation or like a repeated conversation that keeps popping up about who's gay in Hollywood. Oh, sh Constantly, yeah, just out the gate. Yeah. yeah. I don't know who's gay. I'm not in the bedroom. I know what I'm told. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. There's a difference. I ain't seen no in nobody ass. However, <laughs> the streets, when the streets are talking, where there's smoke, there's fire. Definitely think Shannon Sharp. And, and it's just like, you know, I've been around a lot of heterosexual men. And comfortable heterosexual men don't need to always defend mm -hmm. their heterosexualness. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp is always upset when somebody's saying that he's gay. Like, what's wrong? Even if you were or weren't gay, what's wrong with people labeling you gay? Like, mm. is it that bad? Why does it hurt you? I think that's why with? I wanted to kind of open that up because it seems like, particularly in our community, that's like a, a thing. Like, I got you. Like That's a Hollywood thing. Mm. Not in the black community, but that's a Hollywood thing. So when you're in Hollywood and you're able to make it up certain ladders and you got a heavy tongue and a lisp, we asking questions. Got you. <laughs> Got you. So you think it's the fact that he's associated with the industry? Yeah. You don't think it's the fact that he's wearing like tight jogger suits, he has a small dog, um, you know, those the things. The shade from... <laughs> oh, I'm just... <laughs> I love it. I'm just, get... I'm just asking questions, though. Yeah, you're cool. No, absolutely. And, you know, about maybe a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. you know, somebody put me on very strong source in the industry. Mm -hmm onto a stylist that Shannon Sharp had, right? Right. And, um, you know, they was just like, please just take a look at this stylist. The stylist that he has with him that goes everywhere. I have never seen an artist travel with the stylist. Normally they order clothes if it's for events, but for a stylist to follow you everywhere mm -hmm. to the point where they're dressing you morning, noon, and night for every show that you do, and they're sitting courtside with mm -hmm. you at every damn basketball game as if you Keisha K. or Gucci Mane. And this particular stylist, shout out to the Hollywood Mugler, because that's why he got his comments off, because he would put up videos of him with Shannon and he would always be focused on Shannon's crotch area or ass area. Like, these are facts. Okay. And this same stylist was exposed for exposing another NFL player for being down low. And so Shannon got this stylist everywhere that he goes, flying private to every party. The stylist hits me, he was like, Tasha, how did I get in the group chat? You know how you got in the group chat, the Hollywood Mugler? You doing more than styling. You styling your man. That's what it looks like. You know, we ended up putting that out mm -hmm. and uh, Shannon Sharp blocked me. I said, but Shannon, like, it, mm. it like, what man do you see going dressed down with a stylist to the point where your stylist has on jewelry that you know he can't afford on a stylist salary? Like mm -hmm. this is jewelry, like jewelry that like Floyd Mayweather would give like his hoes. So it's like, where is he getting this jewelry? Where is he getting these expensive clothes? You, you see what I'm saying? Did, did someone I say they were related though? They're not related. Okay. Everybody calls Shannon Sharp Unk. So he's like, that's my nephew. But when I put out that story and he gets on like, I can't stand that, 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 with that heavy ass Tom. Tom's so heavy, he can't eat no if he tried. Now, when he, when he said that, mm -hmm. he ended up firing the stylist all of a sudden. Because mm -hmm. it's obvious that you're using this as a cover up. And why do you get so irritated when people call you gay? Right. People call me a lesbian all the time. Right. Do I care? Right. I don't give a Right. I suck every night and every morning, and that's nobody's business what I'm doing. But it doesn't bother me just because people want to label me a certain way. Right. Because I am, even though I'm not of the industry, I'm associated with the industry. Right. So, of course, that comes with the it comes stigma. Comes with the territory. Right. That, you know, we just free with our sexuality. But I'm a very conservative woman, but I notice he gets bothered to the core. Bothered just like Meek Mill out here screaming, I'm not gay no more. So, in transparency, <laughs> In my process of building this, that was I had the gay rumor on me. Yeah. And that was, I think, due to Corey Holcomb. And that was due to some of the questions I was asking. But Corey comedians. Holcomb likes his ass play with according to his wife, his ex his soon to be ex-wife. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why they not together now is because she would refuse to lick his ass or put her fingers in his ass. 
I wouldn't do it to Corey Holcomb. All them keloids he got growing on his head, his mother penal shaft and shit. But get that white bitch Rita Jeter, lick your ass. That's his wow. woman. This Go is ahead. giving me like Cat Williams <laughs> vibes <laughs> on, that on the Club Shay Shay. <laughs> now we can we can we can go to you know address Corey. I kind of want to keep opening up with uh, Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Now I had a question for um, I had an interview with Sean Khan. He was Richard Pryor's bodyguard, and we talked about Paul Mooney. Right. Paul Mooney had a little bit of rumors. He no he never came out, and Richard Pryor's bodyguard was saying, you know what? If he would have came out, then he would have like it would have like now in today's time would have amplified his career as like you know this gay comedian that's black, but because now it's more acceptable. Right. But I would ask you, kind of in Shannon's case, because it does seem to be a conversation. Are you, are you not? Do you think he should hide his sexuality? No. There's a lot of money to be made in the LGBTQ community. He can get those checks too. He can cross over. But he's a football player too, so I think. And, and, and that would even that would take the stigma off a lot of football players. I have football players begging me, please don't put out stories because these trans women are exposing them. It depends on where they sitting on the bench. So if nobody knows them on the bench, I pass it up. If you on the field, we going live. <laughs> now, as far as Shannon, what have you heard? So he just blocked you and there was ever no Yeah, he over. blocked me because I put that out. I was like, Shannon, okay, let's say this is your personal stylist, which he is styling me. Right. Why all the perks? Why does he get backdoor access to games, front row seats next to you? Right. He's, he's, he's sitting up next to you. You got a bag, you got a bag. Like, he is your woman. Jury down. Well, he just treats his team good, like his, his team. Why the other team ain't sitting courtside with him? Why they ain't sitting next to him at parties and in clubs? Why he got phones on Shannon's ass? Now, I don't think Shannon taking d up the ass. But I think he giving. I do. That's just my personal opinion. And ain't nothing wrong with that. And let's and let and let's cut the sh. The nigga messy. Okay. He's a bit. Listen, he calling me messy. I I own my messiness. Now you don't entered a very messy arena. Now you're being labeled as gay because normally LGBTQ play with these conversations like this. And now you're in these conversations and you're messy. You're arguing with other men. You're defending your gayness. All this sh like. Come on, come on. Heterosexual men, they talk about heterosexual things. Right. Well, what's interesting, the reason why, just to kind of chime in on, you know, I hope I'm not trying to make Shannon look a certain way, but the reason why I chimed in on to. it. You don't have to. The Hollywood Mugler made him look a certain way. That was his personal stylist. When I did have my rumor that was floating around, yeah. I laughed about it. With my family, we kind of, like, that was... That was like, it was funny. It was funny to me. Yeah. Um, the only time it got interesting was when I just started dating a girl and I didn't want that to be the first kind of impression. And because, you know, there's a lot of down low men that exist. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to have that. And you in me. Atlanta. Right. So I didn't want to. So that, <laughs> that was the only time I got like a concern for me. But, you know, as time went by, as we dated, that wasn't a conversation. It didn't long. bother you because yeah. you know your sexuality. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to defend that. Sh Why am I arguing about something that I know that I am? Yeah, but you know, maybe, because how old is Shannon? Shannon's got to be over 50. Yeah, so you should be real comfortable. You can say whatever the f they want to say. He I, up here flashing money. I made more money than you motherfuckers ever made off my Cat Williams interview. All this sh Gay niggas talk like that. He's 60, well, excuse me, he's 55 years old. 55, and you still ain't comfortable with who you are. You shouldn't worry about what nobody say about you, but he get tired. But, but I mean, in reality, because the last time we talked, yes. we talked about therapy. Right. So I'm looking at Shannon. You know, I'm, I've seen him flex his muscles on camera. I'm wondering if there's like those things and baggage that we're dealing with that he may not have been able to explore yet. What you mean? Like Like trauma? therapy, like maybe was picked on. It, could, it may not have to be a gay thing. Maybe just like insecurities. I mean, everybody got insecurities. We all do. Mm -hmm. But when you're at this level in the game, insecurities go out the door. You ain't got to listen. You got to fix as you go. My question is, since you are blocked by Shannon for, the, for right now, what would you tell him in case he's like a, a watch of comedy hype? Not a goddamn thing. Keep up the great work. Be you. Go, nigga, go.